Good morning. We're here in Bordolano, one of Europe's largest natural gas storage sites. I would like to take the opportunity to present the 2019 SNAM Global Gas Report on the third edition. Like last year, we did it in partnership with BCG and IGU, and we also worked with our partner TSOs, Derega, uh, Interconnector UK, uh, TAG, and DESFA. There are three reasons why we do the Global Gas Report. The first is that whilst there are plenty of oil and gas reports, as we look at them, oil seems to take the lion's share and less is said about gas than it probably deserves. The second reason is that gas is actually a more complex industry than oil. It's still regional, there's many moving parts, there's a lot of infrastructure uh, that has to do with final end user consumption and prices. And the third reason is that it's still not a global and liquid market. So for natural gas to fulfill its full potential, we need a lot more collaboration and a lot more information shared among producers and consumers and infrastructure players. Let's look at some of the key highlights of this year's edition. Well, gas seems to be living a sweet spot. Overall demand is up 5% in 2008. The lion's share of the growth comes from the US and from China, which make up about 60% of the growth. In 2019, in the early months, we see prices coming down significantly. Prices have been down recently as low as 45% compared to some of the peaks uh, over the last year. The prices are coming down mainly due to LNG becoming more available, and that's true particularly in the summer. We've seen a lot of flows of LNG coming to Europe, and one of the key questions is whether the decline in costs of LNG is structural or is seasonal. And we will wait for the summer and for the full year 2019 to discover that. Another key trend that we've seen is related to new projects that are being sanctioned and the costs of LNG that is coming down, but some industry experts think it should come down even further to help gas take even more share from coal. Even though as we look at the coal to gas switch, we report that in South Korea, in Japan, and in Europe, we are recently in the territories that are making gas competitive with coal. And even in China, the gap has shrunk by about 50%. So with gas becoming more available from the upstream side, with gas becoming cheaper to liquefy from a midstream side, indeed gas could gain further share from coal with good environmental benefits for the whole planet. We then this year decided to have in the report a special section on Europe. We decided to focus on the European market that is undergoing the very significant ambition on climate change and CO2 abatement. And we look at how gas can play a big role, looking at CCS, looking at natural gas, replacing diesel and petrol in transport for cars, for trucks, even for trains and for ships using LNG. We look in general at the opportunity of biomethane as a way of bringing agricultural waste and urban organic waste into the networks to uh, continue to use new gases to reduce CO2 and to reduce pollution as well. Because as vehicles move from petrol and diesel to natural gas, not only there's a CO2 reduction, but there's also very important reduction in other pollutions. Thank you.